Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of this rock chick now. I'm so sorry it's taken me so long to get this part uploaded. Um, I'm going to use a silver jump ring. We're going to create, I was kind of liking the idea of the clasps on charm bracelets. Um, I've got some silver acrylic here. So what I'm going to do is create a padlock to go on the end of the nail. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'm going to use these pliers. Look, they say pink and dizzy. <laughs> I love them. And I'm going to open the jump ring out a little bit, not too much. So like this. So this is going to be the, the, the like hoopy part of our padlock. You'll see what I mean in a minute. It will make more sense. I'm taking a bead of the silver acrylic. I don't know why I keep wanting to call it clear. And I'm going to shape it out into the, not completely into the padlock shape that I want, but the body of the padlock. I want it to be like a horseshoe shape. And I want it to be like a filled in horseshoe shape with a flat top. It doesn't help that I put the bead right on the crease of the, this Karen sends me some um, backing off her stickers <laughs> every now and then, bless her. But it doesn't help that I put the bead right on the crease, which is a little bit annoying. So I'm having to hold the paper flat so that the padlock doesn't like um, fold in or fold up. So there we are. I, I finally, finally got there. This is the shape that I am after. So I'm going to then put the, what is it called? The jump ring. I'm going to push it slightly into the top of the padlock. You're going to see like this. I do push in a little bit too far on that right side. But it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so then we're going to take two more beads and we're going to put the beads where the jump ring meets the padlock. It's going to look a little bit like, look, that bead didn't want to go on. Um, it's going to look a bit like a teddy bear for a bit. So I'm just going to place that there and blend it into the padlock carefully. Make sure you drain the liquid out of the back of your brush because you don't want the bead to, to run all over the place. So then I'm going to put another bead the other side. This bead wasn't quite as big as the last one. So I do end up putting another bead just to kind of make it more symmetrical on each side. Draining the liquid out and then placing it on. So that is where we're at so far. So you've got your hoopy bit, you've got your two ears, <laughs> and then you've got the, the hoop. I didn't mean the loopy bit, I meant the horseshoe bit at the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna leave that to dry, and then we're gonna gently take it off the sticker back in, and then we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna do exactly the same on the back, just so that it looks neat on the back as well. Because it's gonna dangle off the nail, you're gonna see both sides. So we're just gonna sort of neaten it up a little bit and give it a little, more, a little bit more strength. This isn't gonna be everyone's cup of tea. It's just, I just wanted to have a little bit of fun with this nail. So again, I'm putting those little ears on. This is just going to secure the hoop to the padlock. There we go. Okay, so that is where we're at. We're going to leave that to dry. I'm going to be using my black artisan gel paint from Nelchemy just to put a little bit of detail on. I'm using my 8mm Nelchemy detailing brush. So I'm going to put a little, I don't know what you call it, where the key goes into the padlock. We're going to put that in the center at the bottom. A keyhole, it's a keyhole. <laughs> and then some padlocks have got like little screw details. The one that I Googled did anyway. So I'm going to put four little screws on here. 
After I've put the two screws at the top, it really looks like a teddy bear. It kinda looks cute. <laughs> but I'm gonna put two more, two more screws at the bottom. So now it looks more like a padlock, I think. So then I'm gonna, that's what it looks like. <laughs> because <laughs> I can't pick it up with my fingers it's too small I'm gonna pick it up with my pliers and just show you a little bit closer it's not it's not great but it's so small it's, I'm just struggling to get the detail on uh, I've cured it in the lamp for 60 seconds and now I'm gonna use my nail Kami silver artisan gel paints just to put lines down the center of the black dots that are supposed to be screws to make, you know, like you see the top of a flathead screw. No, flathead screw, not a Phillips, the other one. Yeah, flathead, is that right? Screwdriver. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> I've cured that in the lamp and I'm now gonna top coat it on both sides to make it nice and shiny. So my top coat that I'm using here is CBD top coat and it takes 60 seconds to cure in my LED lamp. So there we are, that is the padlock done, hurrah! Um, it's, oh god it's so fiddly but it's done. Anyway, we're going to need another jump ring for this bit but we're going to put the loose chain from the nail through that hoop of the padlock and then you're going to pop a jump ring through the end of that chain. So at the moment we're here. So I'm just going to open this out a little bit. I don't, I think I miss, I don't really get a lot of this on camera, unfortunately. So we're here. <laughs> Again. <laughs> so I've got the hoop through the end of the chain and I'm just going to put it through one of the links at the, near the free edge of the nail at the front. So I've hooked it through. I'm gonna close that ring up and then the nail is done. So it, it looks like one of those padlocks that you see on a charm bracelet. I thought it looked kind of nice. Um, it's not, as I said, it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. It's just a little bit of fun. Don't forget you can get the crystals and the spikes from Nail Sugar. The link to their website will be in the description box below. I hope you like this nail, even though it's probably not very practical. It is a little bit of fun. So there we go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And as always, I will see you lovely lot in the next one.